Hi, my name is Jennifer Ryan, and I will be teaching you how to calculate displacement. There are two methods that you can use to calculate displacement. You can either use section areas or water plane areas. I'm going to show you how to calculate displacement using section areas. Behind me, I have a simple barred shape. This is the plan view looking down. It has a beam of two feet and a length of six feet. This is a cross-section area showing the beam of two feet and I'm going to use a design draft of one foot. So the formula for Simpson's rule, it can be found in your packet. It is the volume equals H over 3 times AO plus 4 times A1 plus 2 times A2 you can have more sections, plus 4 times A times N minus 1, plus AN. Now you might be wondering what each of these values stand for. H is your interval. In this case, since we're doing uh, section areas, it will be the section interval, the distance between each section. Each of these A values corresponds to an area at each section. And N is the number of divisions. Now, I'm going to break this up into five sections, which means I need four equally spaced divisions. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the bow is zero. The middle is 2, and the stern is 4. Since they're equally spaced, 1 and 3 will fall between the other values. OK, to come up with the section interval, what you're going to do is divide the length of your vessel, which in this case is 6 feet, by the number of intervals. In this case, we have 4 intervals. So 6 divided by 4 gives you a spacing of 1 and a half feet. OK, the next thing we need to figure out is the section area for each of these. Since this is a barge, all the areas will be the same. If you look, the area is going to be the draft times the breadth. So the area in this case is going to be 1 foot times 2 feet which will result in two square feet. OK, now we just need to plug into our formula. H is one and a half feet. Divide by three. The air area, it's station zero, is going to be two square feet. At the next section, we have to multiply by 4. These numbers here, 4, 2, 4, and it's understood to be a 1 here, are called Simpson's multipliers. So we have 4 times 2 feet squared, 2 square feet, plus 2 times 2 feet squared, plus we don't have any more sections than just the 5. So the next one will be 4 times 2 square feet plus the 2 square feet. You combine that all up inside the parentheses. That will work out to be 24 square feet. So your volume will equal 1.5 feet over 3 times 24 squared feet. When you complete the math, you get a volume of 12 cubic feet.